speaking of reading and smartness and graduating. <laughs> Person present as a high achiever. You never guess my GPA. <laughs> you would never guess my GPA. <laughs> In my experience, hey, no. Hey. I look like a smart dude. Hello. Hello. My name is Elaine, and I am a high school English and theater teacher. I teach AP Calculus, AP Physics. I've been a substitute teacher for the last five years. What was your GPA back in high school? Oh, two five maybe. My GPA in high school is a 3.4. My GPA in high school. It looks like a one, huh? A mon no matter juice for me, this is a juice for me. School was 3.95 or something ridiculous Ooh. like that. Yeah, I know. I was a perfectionist for sure. What's a clear sign someone is struggling in school? Avoidance, eye avoidance, so they won't look at you. Uh, slouching. I had this the other day. I had a girl that when you meet her, she comes across as very, very smart. And when you start talking to her, she is not. Today you're going to match GPA to high school student. Does that make you nervous at all? Yes. It just makes me nervous because- What my GPA look like now? Does that look like I have a G high GPA? Because I'm judging students that I've never had in my class. We're gonna hand you a clipboard with the numbers on it. Okay. Hey man. Stop We've that. got everything from a 1.5 up to a 4.0. Oh, 1.5? You're an idiot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm in the middle. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna leak. I ain't gonna leak. I'm in the middle. I would be right between these two. My GPA is right between these two. I ain't gonna lie. It's in the middle. It would literally be four. If you okay. had to pick right now. <laughs> Yo, what's that expect that, bro? That caught me so off guard. Bro, that caught me off guard. Bro, that caught me off guard. Bro, that caught me off guard. That actually caught me off guard. What the heck? Who's your 1.5? Oh, God. Bro, I would guess the guy that looks like a skater. Guard, bro, what? <laughs> Looks like a skater, and the skaters I've known <laughs> in my school typically are not that interested in school. I don't care. That dude got like a two, bro. He got, oh. I, nah, he, he, he's smart, bro. A D.O. nigga's smart, bro. Hey. Nah, bro's really a D.O. man. And he look, he got that shit on, too. Besides the hat, I don't know. The, the hat throwing me off, but I fuck with the different laces. So, so what's your name, sir? I'm um, Noah. What math are you doing? I'm um, in algebra two. What have you learned? What's the last thing you learned in class this week? He's slow. He's slow. He's slow. He's slow. Oh, not that way. But he's slow. I'm really paying attention. Um. <laughs> yep. Uh, he got like a. I'll say he's your one point. Huh? Any subjects you're not. Five or two point four. Not a fan of. Low yards. Like he really got a Dio stuffer up in here. <laughs> no, how did a Dio nigga get in here? Oh, language arts. That's what I teach. Ugh. Do you play sports? I wrestle. Really? Because yeah. you don't. I mean, typically, I would have thought of a wrestler a little more bulky. So. What do you plan to do after small. college? I just want to be a teacher. Okay. If he's active in sports, oh. he's got to do okay in grades. Otherwise, you get kicked off the team. I'm going to say the 3.4. I'm going to say You two. seem like I'm a pretty, like, average, middle-of-the-road yeah, kind I'd of say, student. I'd say 2.4. 2.4. Yeah, 2.4. 2. You yeah, 2. 4. don't stand out to me as necessarily a top, top-tier yeah, student. 2. 4. Does that make me dumb or unintelligent? <laughs> nah. No, it, no, it doesn't. All it means is that your focus is not towards the academics, right? Like to, to be a teacher is to work with people, right? It's not to be an uber genius. And that's where uh, something like wrestling, right? Very personal connection. Yeah, it is. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good, good. good. You seem pretty confident, like. Uh, wait. Do you feel like you maybe you are a little like bit of a class clown perhaps? I dabble. You dabble, dabble in class Connery? Okay, nice. Have you ever been caught cheating on a test? Okay, so it was a uh, weightlifting class. <laughs> I wasn't aware there's a, there's a mirror behind me, so <laughs> I was looking at notes, Aww. and I got a zero on that test. Deservedly so. 
What's your favorite subject? I, I really like, like my like uh, woodwork like class right now. How did I'm not gonna lie, I feel like he's above average. I feel like he's the third. Did you get in the woodwork? Was that 3.4 or no? Well, it's something below that. One know. of my career girls is in manufacturing. Do you have any interest in ever going to college? No. I hate Ooh. school, so I'm not gonna like college. Okay, so he hates school, but he could still have a good GPA. If he hates school, I'll put that down to like, so I say 2.4, I say he's like above the 2.4, I forgot what so What do you hate about high school? Uh, like, it's a full-time job and I'm not getting paid. Okay, I get that. Although, when you get to be in your 20s, 30s, things do come up where you go, I could learn how to do this new part of my job if I had done that part way back and built a foundation for my education. Because the biggest thing education isn't to teach you facts, it's to teach you how to think and problem solve. Okay, I didn't two, get here for a two lecture. It just seems like your focus isn't more, more on the academics, but more on something that yeah. actually sounds really cool and really yeah. interesting. Hello. Hello. She's smart. I feel like she's smart as here. I ain't gonna lie. Yes, I'm being a hip. I'm being not here. Stereotype. I'm be, I'm playing stereotypes. And yes, she is as smart as here because she's a female and she looks she looks innocent, an innocent female. So yes. You got a cute outfit on. It's all matching. Like your hair is but nice. She looks sad, but I feel like she's so smart as here. You That's take some time to get ready in the morning before you go to school. I know it's not this this thug right here. I know it's not this thug. Oh, do you? I was watching Bruce all night. Any ideas of what you want to do after school? I'm thinking pre med right now. Pre med, exciting. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of work. What kind of medicine would you be interested in? Surgery. You'll have to get your nails cut for that. Oh, there you go. probably, yeah. yeah. What math are you in She's right now? I'm taking oh, no. Calc 2 and Intro to Stats right now. Oh, nice. What's the integral of cosine? Um, sine, yeah. That you are correct. I think just based on the fact that you're interested in pursuing pre-med, which is a very competitive field, I'm going to give you 3.8. 3.8. 3.8. Why not the 4.0? I just don't see. It's a 4.0. Necessarily a confidence level. I see a little bit of the slouching, the little bit of the avoidance of eye contact, a little bit of being quiet. I could totally be wrong by that look that you gave me, which is awesome. You seem pretty relaxed, more alternative. I don't care. You got 1.5, bro. Never there. Stereotypes. Alternative, maybe. Does this person present as a high achiever? In my experience, no. No. Students I've had in the past that tend towards that style are a little more withdrawn or don't participate 1. as much, 5. or they just like feel like school is lame. What's your favorite subject? Favorite subject? Probably AP Literature or AP. Oh, hold on, he talks smart. I ain't gonna lie, he talks smart. World history. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh, shoot, he talks. Okay, okay, okay. Do not judge a book by its covers, guys. See, look at me. I mean, I'm smart to do here. <clears throat> uh, don't judge a book by its cover. He is uh, actually. <clears throat> well, I don't remember the numbers, bro. Could we get the numbers back for real? How you gonna set the number for like one second and not show us again? Like, come on, you can't have like numbers on the side or something. Okay, okay, remember 517. So 1.5, 2.0. Okay, 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 517. Why? Um, I because I think I gave you my lowest score okay, when you came in, yeah. probably out pretty off the mark. Okay, I say she is uh he's in the middle. He's in the middle. He's in the middle. I say he's a uh... fuck. No, I'm just gonna go in, in order. Uh, who I think. I'll Do you wait. have an idea what you want to study yet? Uh office. yeah, earlier the year I took pre med. So I'm guessing he's sciences, smart, math, more he's your smart. favorite classes. Um, no, I'd say oh. my favorite class is probably my AP Lit class. Nice, AP Lit. Okay, as an English teacher, that makes me happy to hear. <laughs> you don't come across as a 1.5 for sure. So <laughs> Watch well, it, Dio. They could be a 1.5, bro. <laughs> I'm going to give you my 4. 4.0. Pre-med, taking advanced classes, you're taking things seriously. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Who's your favorite teacher? What do they teach? I'd say my English teacher, Miss Hong, she teaches AP English. Then who would you say is your worst? Oh, uh... You don't have to say names, Yo, even man. though they're gonna know. Why he looks so old and young at the same time? Bro looks so old and young at the same time. Bro got a baby face, but his he, he, he looks old, bro, but we got baby face. It's weird. I, like, I couldn't even guess his dude's age, I ain't gonna lie. My eighth grade. Nah, bro's legit. 
biology teacher. I, I'm not Has that I stopped you from taking science classes? Now you're in high school. Like, sort of, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. What are you reading? We read The Great Gatsby a few nice. months ago, but it right now we're just practicing for the AP know. exam. Okay. I have 1.5 and 2.0 left, and I don't. BLM. BLM. What you about to say? I don't think either of those are right. Oh, I'm gonna give you the 2.0. I would like to be able to give you the 3.4. Who had the 3.4? I'm not gonna let you switch, but that's your 2.0, you think? I would switch them, yeah. Mm. Not a 4.0. One bad teacher can drop your motivation. 3.4. Now comes. 4.0 yep. student. Oh my god. I know what he think he is. He think he, this girl's a That's what he thinking. Four point. He saw his boots. He saw his boots. What did I just skip to? I didn't mean to do that. My attendance, because I've like gotten sick a lot. She is a 1.5 or uh, what's it called? 1.5 or 2.0. 2 1.5 or 2.0 being real. That's hard. And then when you come back, it's like real. trying to get caught up from yeah. what you missed. And, and I do just the... never, yeah. It's hard. It's kind of a snowball effect. 1.5. I don't Just know. based on the challenges you said you've had to go through. How do you think? I, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. Who's the smartest? She's number one. He's number two. No, he, she's number one. He's number two. He's number three. He's number four. He's number five. <laughs> and she's number six. And I'm right. I told you I'm right. Watch this. He did. Terribly. I'm right. Show hands who did Chris guess correctly. Dio, dude, smart. Hold on. Hold on, Dio, open up the map. Hold on. Hold on. I knew it. I knew it. See, you always judge a book by its cover. This is why you always judge a book by its cover. This, 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 this right here is why you always judge a book by its cover. Mm. 2.4 basic. D, Dio surprised me. I told you she was 4.0. I told you. Was I, did I, I said that. I got that one right. I got that one right. I got this one right. And I, I think she's the only one I got right. Yeah. Uh, did I get this one right? Nah, I think she's the only one I got right. But you could tell she's easy the smartest one there. I told you from the start. Yay, one! Oh. Well, at least I got one. By yeah. <laughs> Come on up. You gave me a 2.4. Okay. What is your real GPA? 2.0. Mm -hmm. Why was I off? Kind of overestimated me. Because uh, wrestling season's over, so I don't have to maintain a GPA anymore. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How do your parents feel about you your GPA? Slow, though. They're I told not happy. Pause. I told you it looks slow. Happy. Yeah. At all. <laughs> I get grounded. Okay. Do you feel like you're working at your best capabilities? No. But I want to have a better GPA because I want to go to college and I want to do a lot of things in my future. You can, you know. When my daughter was in high school, if you'd have asked me if she was ever going to graduate from high school, I would have told you absolutely not, couldn't do it. Last year, I watched her walk across a college stage and get with her diploma up like this. She barely squeaked through high school, but she got to college and she blossomed. So, Aww. I think you will. Hello. All right, I got you right. My you did one get me right. correct answer. But you did, you were going to switch it. You said I know, I was, was going to switch it. Yeah. Oh. I got the impression that you weren't really interested in schoolwork. Yeah, uh, well, I, I do the schoolwork. I, I don't particularly want to do it, but I, I just do it. Honestly, if it was a 1.5, I wouldn't care. <laughs> yeah, don't don't stress yourself out about making it all perfect all the time. Just yes. get it done. Yeah. What GPA did I give you? You gave me a 3.8. It's a 4.0. What is your GPA? 4.0. 4.0. Why do you think I didn't give you the 4.0? Uh, your comment on my posture really stuck me. <laughs> Has maintaining this grade point average oh, caused nerd. you a lot of stress or anxiety? Well, in my freshman year, right before the final exam, I was really stressed. I had my first panic attack, and yep. I'm just like very close to like, keeping that 4.0 for this year, but I could ruin it also. If you have it, there's this expectation that you you have yeah, to keep it, and if you don't, it was all for nothing that when at the end of the day it's just one piece of information about you right true, true. so you gave yeah, me you a 4.0 i am the 1.5 i got it right the first time is it yeah, stressing you out about like how it'll affect future plans property. i wouldn't say it affects me anymore because mm -hmm. i already got into college great with the 1.5 how did you get into colleges because usually that wouldn't cut it. I would assume it was the essay I wrote, um, just talking about my background. Yeah. And if it wasn't for my test scores, I probably mm -hmm. would have been, uh, you know, stranded. For me, a 1.5 is either 
and capable of getting better grades, which you, to me, obviously are right. capable, what? or you what just is, don't apply you yourself. And I would guess how? you don't apply yourself. Uh, you'd guess wrong. Really? Both, both times, yeah. What have I got wrong? Um, the whole reason my GPA is where it's at is because uh, during COVID, I struggled mentally. I was in and out of mental institutes, and I was never at school, never online for school, and so it dropped, it dropped my uh, GPA. Are you happier now than oh, you were man. three years ago? Do you feel like Absolutely. you're in a better place? COVID affected a lot of people. COVID made me better. The thing is, I don't like people. I'm an introvert. Absolutely, yeah. Right. I totally understand. I totally feel your pain. You're not the only one that struggled. I'll still fuck a bitch now. I had students that, that fell into to some drug use and things like that, right, to, to cope. Man, COVID's hard because I'm seeing you through a screen. It's like here, it's, it's personal. Like if, if I saw this, you know, I can, you can feel me. Definitely if you need any help or anything, right, with school or, or whatever. I, I know I'm not your teacher. Don't even know where you go to school. But after this, like, feel free. You know, you can get Aww, my number. I, I can help any of you guys Stop if you need support. Millions. And so, you know, I, I apologize that it hit me so much, but thank you. Right. What did I give you? A 2.0. And what's your actual GPA? 3.8. Yeah, I knew I was wrong once we started talking, but the options were getting limited. Do you get a GPA because it's just that's what you get? Or do you I got my stick in a college job. But for real, bro, Jaw is really 4KT, and I fuck with that. Jaw is a real nigga. Jaw is a real nigga. You have to work hard at it. Um, I've worked hard, you know. And what motivates you? My mom, Bruce. really. She's like my, <laughs> my number one support Bruce system just in general, not even just school, just life. Your biggest fan? Yeah. Well, I'll go home and give her a hug because I wish I could go home and give my mom a hug. Aww. So I gave you a 4.0. What is your real GPA? I have a 2.4. Are you happy with your GPA? Do you feel like it is higher. a good reflection of your abilities? I mean, I'm not happy with it, but I don't think it shows like how smart I am. Totally. Because I've just never been good at school. It's just not my thing. Mm -hmm. I don't do my work. I don't pay attention in class. I, I do don't mine. show up to class, <laughs> to be and honest. I do that. Yeah. How do you I think do your that. GPA might affect what you want to do in the future? I never thought I wanted to go to college mm -hmm. until last year. Everybody started talking about going to college, and I was like, maybe I should go to college. <laughs> but then I got rejected. See? Don't do that. Do what you want to do. Do not listen to other people's choice, okay? I don't want to hear, oh, I got that feeling to go to college, nigga. Do what you want to do, for real, right? Omar, bro, Omar, bro. You got to do what you want to do, not do what you, what other people want to do. Do what you want, not what they want. Follow your dreams. It's like, like if I want to be a rapper, bro, I'll be the rapper. Like, I'm really a rapper, for real. People say I'm not good at rapping, but in reality, I know I'm the best rapper in the world. But they just don't hear it yet. You see, they're not hearing the full vision of me rapping, for real. So, for real. Rejected from everywhere. <laughs> okay. So. What's your favorite subject? My broadcasting media class. It's like um, our school news. I always get good grades in that. I've gotten A's, like, every year. You're entirely capable of doing whatever you want. Broadcasting? Do it. How was that experience for you? It's cathartic because I didn't think I would have the talk about the COVID and its effect. I didn't realize that would affect me. At the end of the day, it's a number that does not define or limit somebody's ability to succeed or to know what they want in life or to have skills. It's just one box that our. All right, bro.